Anne Sune, and this is Tuesday Truth for Kids. If this is the first time that you're joining us, welcome. We've been going through animals in the Bible, and we've also been learning how we can understand our Bibles better when we spend time with God each day. Can you guys remember the tool that we've started to learn about? It's the same thing you use to wash your hands and keep them free of the virus. That's correct, it's the soap tool. So each letter in the word soap stands for a step that we can take to understand our Bibles better. It's not the only way that we can do this, but it is a really, a really helpful way that's helped me a lot. So let's see what those steps are. First, the S. That stands for scripture. It just means what passage are we reading about? And remember, this tool works for any passage in the Bible, not just the ones that we're talking about in our Tuesday Truths. Step two, the O. That stands for observation. So that's like when you put on binoculars and you try and see all the things in the passage. You're going on a treasure hunt in a way. And you want to notice what words are used, is anything repeated, what pictures are used to describe things. And then we get to step three. That is application. All that means is that we take what we've seen in the passage and we ask what we can learn about it. What does this passage mean for us today? And the fourth and final step is our P. That stands for? Correct, for prayer. That is when we pray and we talk to God about everything we've learned in the Bible about Him and how He wants us to live. And we ask God to help us live out everything that we have read. All right, guys. So today's animal, our animal of the week, is the same animal that Santa Claus uses to pull his sleigh. This animal also features in the sound of music in a song. Do a deer, a female deer. That's correct. We're doing the deer today. So let's jump into our first step, scripture, and see what passage we're going to read where we can find the word deer. Today, we are reading from Psalm 42. The book of Psalms is full of poems and songs. And there's a psalm for when we're feeling happy. There's a psalm for when we're feeling really sad. There's even a psalm for when we're feeling angry and frustrated. And psalms for when we feel confused. The psalmist, that's just the name we use for the person who wrote the psalm. So it's like when we say a person who studies science is a scientist or someone who works in biology is a biologist. So the psalmist is writing the psalm to cry out to God about a bad situation that he is in. His enemies hate God and everyone who serves him and they are keeping the psalmist from worshiping God and spending time with him in the temple. So let's read Psalm 42, and we're just gonna be reading the first two verses. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? So let's get to step two, observation. What do we notice in this passage? The psalmist is using something that we see in many poems called a simile. So that's when you compare one thing to something else to help the readers understand that something else a bit better. So for example, if I say my toes are as cold as ice, I'm comparing my toes to ice blocks to help you understand how cold my toes are. And that's the truth, by the way. My toes are frozen. So what is the psalmist comparing in the first verses of this psalm? That's correct, guys. He's comparing how a deer longs for or is thirsty for water to how he is longing for and thirsty for God. Now, we can't drink God. That's not what the psalmist wants to do. All he means is that he needs God and he wants to be close to God. 
deer, actually all animals and humans, need water to live and especially when they are being hunted and trying to get away. Without water, a deer would die. It can't drink anything else to live. I mean, can you imagine a deer drinking Coca-Cola? <laughs> and when a deer is thirsty and in need of water, it pants desperately trying to get it. And if you get really thirsty, I mean, you've been running and running and running and you're really thirsty, what will you go and find and drink? only water will help for your thirst. In the same way, the psalmist is saying that he needs God. He longs for God. It's the only thing on his mind. All he needs and wants is to be close to God. Nothing else will give him life and joy, peace, safety, everything else that he needs. It can only be found in God. And just like the deer won't search for Coca-Cola or orange juice, but really needs water, the psalmist is saying that he won't chase after anything else. He'll only look for God for what he needs. So step three, what does this passage mean for us? Well, we can ask ourselves a question. Do you long for God? Do you turn to God for everything that you need and want? Or do you chase after other things? Do you want other things more than you want God? Guys, as much as I would like to say that I trust in God for everything I need and I only go to Him, I don't always do that. Even though I know that God is like water, that He alone can give me life and joy and safety, I still sometimes put my trust in other things. Instead of seeking to be close to God, who is like water and gives us life, I work very hard sometimes to get things like success or to be liked by other people and sometimes even wish I had more money and possessions. And that all of that is like Coca-Cola. It might taste good in the moment, but it's not good for me in the long run and it doesn't give me everything that I need. I do this, the psalmist did this, and all of us chase after other things. Jesus is the only one who can say that he truly always longed for God. When he lived on earth, all he desired was to be close to his heavenly Father. He always trusted in the Father perfectly for everything that he needed, and he always put God first. Jesus never wanted fame or power or money or anything else more than he wanted God. But the good news is that even though we run to other things more than we run to God, Jesus died on the cross so we can be forgiven for all the times we set God aside and put other things first. And if we trust in Jesus, God not only forgives us, but he also changes our hearts each day so that we can long for God more and more. As we trust in Jesus and follow him, God helps us to always put him first. Like the deer in the Psalm longs for water, God helps us to trust in him alone for what we need. Let's all pray together. God, please help us to be like the deer in the Psalm, like the deer only wants water when it's thirsty, Help us to only go to you for the things we need. God, we know that other things can't give us what we need. Only you can give us joy and safety and peace and love. And help us to just trust in Jesus so that our hearts can be changed and always put you first. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week. And I wonder what our animal of the week will be then.